CP the Tool Addict. Woo! How's it going? How you doing? Guess what? I just got home and I got a little package here. That's right. I don't know what it is, but I do know who it's from. That's right. It's from Tecton. I don't remember what I got. I remember I had some reward points and I ordered a couple things and there was something on back order, but I didn't think it was coming in until today. So I'm going to flip you around. We're going to take a look at it because this is cool. I know I'm wearing a Mac Tools hat. Sorry, I don't have a Tecton one. Um, you know, most tool companies give me at least a hat when I uh, buy tools from them. So once again, this is not a sponsored video. So stick around. Appreciate you guys watching. You guys have been doing awesome. I appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed, please think about subscribing. Help the channel out. I definitely appreciate it. Um, we're going to get into this Tecton tool haul and show you what I got. So I'm going to flip around. So get ready. All right. So let me get this sucker around and we're going to break out. I'm actually just going to cut the end of the old. I'm going to get the old K bar. This is my new package opener knife too. Really enjoy this. So I'm going to slice and dice and hack on this thing real quick. Oh, she cuts like butter. Let me tell you. Look at that. Look at the look at the cuts that thing made right there. Sliced right through it. We're gonna flip this package out. I have no idea what this is. No clue. I don't remember exactly what I ordered. I could look, but I figured since uh, I just got it in. So go ahead and in the comment box right now. No cheating. Don't watch the video. Go in the comment box, take a guess, and see if, if you can figure out what that is. Um, I'm going to open this and then I will open this up. See if you're right. Just take a peek. Uh, see, there's no markings on it. I don't know. Oh, there's a marking there. And that, that'll tell me what it is. I'm sure. Let's, uh, let's, let me cut the, uh, tape on this one. <clears throat> Try not to cut my fingers off. Hopefully you went down that comment box and made your guess. Let's do the unveiling. Uh oh. What do we have here? Red case. Well, we know a lot of stuff comes in blow molded cases. It says Tecton on it. Let's go ahead and pop this baby open. See what we got. Ta-da! We've got a quarter inch drive. Metric and standard set. Let me just give you a little shot of this bad boy right here you got two extension bars in there your standard shallows standard deeps metric deeps or shallows metric deeps quarter inch dry ratchet and a nut driver handle swivel and a bit driver adapter but now if you're getting ready to go oh whatever we've already seen this i don't know that you've actually seen this set before because this set was just released I think not too long ago as far as what it is and uh, when I say what it is let me get this set up here because we're going to look at these sockets talk a little bit about the tech and stuff and kind of uh, what my thought process was on this now it, at, for at a glance you know you're thinking it's just your basic quarter inch set but it's actually that's right it's a 12 point quarter inch set uh, the sockets are very well made. Let me see if I can get this thing di dialed in here and get some good light on this. The sockets are very well made. They seem, or they feel very well made, I guess, at a glance. I don't know if they'll hold up over time, but the thick thickness looks really decent on them. I guess I could measure the thickness on them, but I wouldn't. I would I don't really actually know the average thickness. I'm sure, they meet ANSI spec specifications. When all coming down to it. Sorry about the dirty hands, guys. Always working on something, you know. I just got home, and this set was laying out on my step, so I apologize. I just came in, grabbed it, and decided I was going to make a video for you guys. And I wanted to show you the set. Now, cool things about this set. Quarter-inch drive with the end on it. Nice six-inch long quarter-inch drive. Ratchet. I love these these nut drivers with these ends on them. I honestly have a couple snap-ons and they're my favorite. Uh, but that's really cool. Love being able to do this with a ratchet. 
especially if I needed it for some sort of instances. But this will be a nice set to also throw in the truck, four-wheeler, RV, uh, just a nice all-around set. I will say the one thing that is a little bit disappointing about this is I wish they would get rid of the 4 and the 4.5 and put in a 15 millimeter in this set. That would be kind of nice just because it's 15. So I probably will be buying a, a 15 deep Tecton and shallow 15 so that I can use this set in some recreational purposes, possibly. Now, the, the big reason I got this was was for, like I said, 12 point. I don't have a 12 point quarter inch set, believe it or not. The broaching is a little bit deeper on these sockets, as you can see. Um, the shoulder, I mean, in there. So it is, that is not my favorite. I will tell you that, for especially when you're getting nut, trying to start a nut or something. But uh, normally when you start something, but even on the shallows, I'd like to see them just a bit more shallow in here. There is no chroming, uh, not deep down in there, which I definitely like that. You can tell on a cheap socket right away. Usually they'll just chrome the entire socket instead of, you know, where they broach down in here. So that is nice that it is not chrome. Um, let's look at the, the infamous 10 millimeter. It's not lost already, and I just opened the set. Uh, come on, focus in here, little feller. Uh, 10 millimeter. I like the wall thickness looks pretty good. I'm gonna try this set out, see what I like, what I don't like about it. The main reason, like I said, I got this is because it was a 12 point set. I do have some instances where some 12 point chrome sockets. I've noticed that I've had some issues. I don't have any small 12 point. I think I have some 3/8 that are bigger, and I have a limited variety of 12 point. Uh, but I have noticed in some instances 12 point has been a problem for me. I've lacked on 12 point. That's the only reason I got this set. Not only that, from the, all the Tecton purchases, the beautiful part about Tecton is they have ki kickbacks or rewards. I don't know what they call it, Tecton points or whatnot, where they give you money back when you buy. And I actually had enough credit that I think I only paid $10 for this set. So it was a no-brainer. Now, a lot of specialty tools, I, I don't, I have plenty of sockets, wrenches, screwdrivers, all that jazz. So it's hard for me to find something from Tecton that I really needed. But this set stood out to me for the 12-point aspect. Now, um, another thing is I want to mention real quick, kind of controversial. This is not a USA-made set. It is Taiwanese. I implore you to check out Taiwan, Taiwanese culture. They are not like Chinese culture. I have been re recently studying and trying to diversify my, I guess, um, knowledge of the history of Taiwan versus China. Taiwan does not like China. America does not like China. Japan does not like China. And most of Taiwan's standards are pretty high. So that's why you're going to see some quality tools for st from Taiwan. Now, I understand we always want to buy USA, but, you know, it's just not always possible, just like your cell phone. Taiwanese is the number one producer of uh, chi uh, chips and whatnot for cell phones. So most likely the cell phone that you're watching, eh, it's got some Taiwanese technology in it. So, you know, a little bit here and there doesn't hurt none. You know, it's not so bad. But this is pretty quality stuff. Let's, you know, let's actually talk about the knurling even. I, I actually wanted to show you about this too. Look at the knurling on this. You know, guys, if you watch my channel, I'm a big, big stickler about knurling. This is quality and early, to be honest with you. And it actually beats some of the USA stuff that I've seen. The other thing is, is uh, I want to talk about the etching. If you look, these sockets, now granted, they're not high-vis, but the numbers aren't small on the sockets. And they're actually etched in the socket. Not laser etched. Like they're actually, they're not, they're not just written in there. They're actually stamped in there. Or I guess cut in there. Maybe laser cut, not laser etched. I don't know how you explain it. They're not, they're not printed on the socket, I guess is what I'm, the word what I'm looking for. Like you mostly see with the laser uh, etching on some of the sockets, but these are actually, you can feel, you can actually feel that they're cut into the socket. So that is not going to wear off over time. And the numbers are pretty big and pretty bold. So I actually, you could probably color them too. And actually Allman Devices makes... Uh, one of those stamps that you could put them in that actually laser etches them. But uh, over and all, overall, the universal joint, <laughs> we all know that this thing is, you know, subpar at best. Uh, the bit 
here is going to be nice and handy. I'll put some bits in there maybe. I'll, I got some bits laying around. I, I really like this, the screwdriver handle and the sockets and the extensions will work great. And it's 12 point. And uh, I think they're, for, for the most part, they're pretty well made. I think that this will do for what I'm looking for it to do. It's nothing, I'm, nothing that I'm looking to daily drive a lot. It's just mainly just uh, for backup for 12 point socket or 12 point bolts and whatnot that I run into. So anyways, guys, that's the video I got for you. And I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you appreciate this set. I will put a link in the description is about $60 retail. If you're buying tech and stuff, it's always nice that they do the kickback. So definitely check it out. They're not a sponsor of the channel. I'm only doing this purely out of my uh, necessity to buy tools or my need or my addiction, whatever you want to call it, however you want to look at it. So anyways, guys, appreciate you watching. Remember, like, comment, share, subscribe, ring that bell. Remember, keep your hands dirty and your money clean. Thanks for watching.